Transparency, ito ang sigaw ng ilang mga Filipino fan ng pageant na kung saan ay natapos nga ang Miss Universe 2023 na may mga question na nangyari. Ito ay simula ng mag-post nga ang Miss Universe Instagram ng El Salvador na kasama ang Pilipinas sa top 5 at later on nga ay binawi nila ito. Sama sa post ng Miss Universe El Salvador Instagram ay nagbigay sila ng paumanhin at narito ang kanilang sinabi. Our mistake in the rush to get our post up during Sunday's live broadcast, we accidentally mixed up the names of two finalists. This was a simple error of moving too fast. We heard the same results live at the same time that you all did. No special access over here. We're sorry to both finalists. Pero sa puntong ito, bakit daw na-confuse sa name pero nakalagay pa rin doon ang picture ni Miss Philippines Michelle D pati ang bansang nire-represent niya? Kaya naman dahil dito, umapaw at napakaraming question ngayon ang lumabas. Ang ilan ay sinasabing kailangan daw ilabas na ang mga score ng candidate at dapat daw ay merong accounting firm na nag-audit. Narito ang sinabi ng isang Sean Philip. Filipinos are not questioning the winner. We love Nicaragua and she deserves the crown. We just want transparency. However, simple error you say yet, it took you days to make a formal statement. We weren't born yesterday to be fooled. Then Miss Universe Org has no say to this at all. Why don't you release the judges score sheet for the top 5 if you really want us to move on? A judge's score sheet has been circulating and it causes a lot of questions with the unbiased scoring towards Philippines evening gown. Two Latina and Carson Kressley judges score Philippines 6. We know judging is very subjective and based on judges' taste and preferences. But 6? Really? That low? Something is really fishy. Fishy it made sounds but you always say it's not about the dress or gown. But how the candidate executed it and without bias, Philippines gave a solid and very strong evening performances with her black gown. So if you want us to move on, release the actual scorecard of top 5 that was approved by the accounting firm who validates the judges' scores. That's how you take right and necessary actions. Matatanda ang matapos mapasama sa top 5 si Miss Thailand ay siya rin ang naging first runner-up sa nasabing pageant. Kwento naman ay isang... Kwento naman na isang netizen, wala na daw accounting firm. Narito pa ang comment ng isa. Gone were the days when the judges' scores are posted on live TV and I think this is good for transparency. Ever since I've watched Miss Universe and when they were still posting scores on live TV, I've never seen a score of 6. How can some judges score at 10 or 9 and then some at 6? They fix block judging issues in the Olympics. I wonder if it will be ever done in Miss Universe. I question people's integrity here. Some judges not all, the El Salvador committee and of course the owners. I love Miss Nicaragua. She was one of my favorites but these weird things happening somewhat stain her win. Sa puntong ito, ilan din na nagsabi na may mga balibalita rin na hindi daw isinama ang perfect score nang i-judge nga ang Philippines sa evening gown. Kwento ng isang netizen, sad to say, the Miss Universe Org didn't hire an accounting firm this edition and there was also a rumor that they didn't include the scores of two judges who gave high score to Philippines in their computation. All the scores computed came only from judges that gave Michelle a lowest score and excluded the perfect scores given by two judges. Sa puntong ito ay mukhang hindi natatapos ang issue sa Miss Universe 2023 pero umaasa naman ang mga netizen na sana daw ay magkaroon ng transparency at maibalik ang dating style ng Miss Universe na kung saan ay pinapakita ang score na binibigay ng mga judges.